What colour is honey? Easy, right? It's yellow. Or is it gold? Brown, maybe? Well, that's not always the case. While you'll never see it on the store shelves, blue honey is a real phenomenon. Before we begin explaining where this mystery blue honey comes from, please consider subscribing to the channel if you want more interesting stories like this one. The winter of 2011 into 2012 was not a good time for the beekeepers of Ribovier, a French town of about 5,000 people. Harsh cold had caused high bee mortality and low honey yields. However, things were actually going to get worse. As in August of 2012, some of the bees who survived began to make blue honey, and some began to make green honey. To understand how this came to be, we need to first know a little bit about how honey is made. Don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Bees typically make honey by collecting the nectar, a sugary water, from hundreds of plants every day. A little of it is used as food and to fuel their flights, but most of the nectar they collect is returned to the hive to be processed and stored for times when nectar is scarce. That stored nectar becomes honey. Again, that's a very simple overview of what happens, but if you want to know more, check out this documentary. The different nectar from different plants creates honey with different visual and flavor characteristics. Some make light-colored honey with a delicate flavor, and some make dark honey with a bold taste. But what if the bees thought they'd found a super amazing life hack? An easy, nearly endless supply of sugary goodness? Well, that's exactly what happened. A company called Agrivala had set up an organic waste processing plant nearby, hoping to turn waste biomass into useful electricity. One of their customers was Mars. You know, the guys who make Twixes, Snickers, Galaxy Chocolate, oh, and M&M's. It was a waste byproduct from the production of M&M's colorful shells that Agrivala were in possession of and left unsecured for the bees to binge on. This proved much quicker than visiting up to a thousand plants a day to collect nectar the normal way. They then returned back to the hive, regurgitated up the tasty blue waste and began to make honey with it. Now, you might think that the beekeepers had hit up a great new product, much like Heinz Easy Squeeze Ketchup that came in blue, green and purple, or like the KFC Black Burger Bun. And it might even be a good use of waste product, since it was made with ingredients that had been chucked out. However, there's two issues with that plan. Firstly, French and European Union law states that to be sold as honey, it must, as far as possible, be free from organic or inorganic matters foreign to its composition, which means at best it could be sold as blue syrup. Then in that case, it would be competing with much cheaper dyed syrups. Secondly, the beekeepers had too much reverence for honey. Even though it tasted completely normal, they didn't consider it to be real honey. It's not actually the first instance of blue honey. In 1970s North Carolina, Commercial beekeeper Bill Shepard discovered his bees were producing a similar product. An investigation by Professor John Ambrose at North Carolina State University indicated that in this case, it wasn't junk food waste to blame, but flowers, which had high concentrations of aluminum. Bill's blue honey got a slightly more positive reception, with its sky blue hue and its very sweet flavor gaining praise. However, it too was never commercialized. So, would you try some of this blue, or green, or purple honey? Let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until then, see you in the next one.